You better make it quick. Real rich bitch. YouTube. It's your boy, Just Tim Johnson, coming back at you all with another in-hand dope review. I want to hear y'all thoughts and opinions on the recent shock drop this past weekend releases with the Kobe's. Uh, didn't do too well on them. Actually, I took L's on them, but couldn't complain because I did hit on the shock drop Thursday. The shoot got delivered today, which is Monday, the 15th, I believe, of April. As y'all can see, we're going to get into this unboxing right now. You see where it says April the 15th delivery right there? All right. And then this is the standard uh, Nike uh, recycle box. All right. And I'm going to show y'all the, uh, there's that. It's the military blue for the industrial force. This is the first time, keep me honest in the comments, I believe this is the first time this is released since the 80s with the Nike on the back. Yeah, because the 2012 version didn't have it. And I want to say the 2006 definitely didn't have it. So yeah, it's the only one. But I want to, we're, we're talking about that, right? We're going to get into this shoot. We're going to take a look at it. All right. There's that. In hand review right here from the shot drop. We got uh the bottom of the box. Rear view, side view, the top panel of the box. It says uh, Air Jordan 4 Retro, off-white, military blue. Now, <clears throat> there were reports saying that it was going to be called uh, Industrial Blue. Let me go back to my sneakers app. Hold on, y'all. I want to see what it says on there. Forgive me, hold on. Pardon us. Because I want to ask y'all a couple questions about this in relation to a shoe that released a couple years ago. We're going to do some comparisons too to, yeah, it say industrial blue right here. That say industrial blue. But on this box, let me show it to y'all. It say off-white military blue. I can't remember what the, the pine greens, if it said off-white or not. I don't feel like digging that box out. Comment down below if you recall it, but there's the box label. Man, let's take a look at the. Here's the top of the box. Style code, etc. Get over there. I'm going to put the box down here for the moment. Going to take the left shoe out. And this came directly from the sneakers app, Shock Drop Thursday, right? Y'all see that Widow's Peak right there? Uh, overall, let me look at the quality. I don't know why they didn't give us the, the chain. They gave us the Lestrain, but don't worry about that. I'm going to fix that for them. There's the rear view. There's the medial side. There's the front view. The tongue with the stitching. And there's the lateral side. Forgive me. I'm sorry. I got distracted. I'm looking at that. Make sure it had the double stitching on it. I mean, these came from Nike, but. So to my point, one way you can tell, like if you look on a Jordan tongue, it should typically have a Jordan 4 tongue double stitching down there. Now, there may be one or two releases that may have overlooked that like in the between that 2008, 2012. But generally, you will see that just like the bubble going to have the right amount of PSI and the netting is going to be where you can pull it up. And it feels like netting, not like plastic. Feels almost like a hair net. Yeah, y'all, you got to be to work at a restaurant. And then there's the Nike Air. So there it is with the Nike Air and the Nike Air. All right. So I already know what the first question is. Okay. Is the toe shape like the pine green for us? And let's see. This is my camp out release. The Mind Steel DS. It is absolutely not. You see that right off. It ain't. All right. But what I will say, let me show y'all that again. All right. Different color white, different color white on this one. So look, the shade is a little different, right? But here's this. 
All right, let me show you. Uh, I wouldn't normally I wouldn't compare this because, but this is leather. Show the toe cap on this one is slight is different. Right, and then for a contrast and comparison, there was rumors that the SB Pine Green Four toe cap would be similar to the reimagined Fours. Not seeing it. Y'all comment down below if y'all see it. I don't see it. Not, not that it's a bad shape. It's just not what we... And to give you all a... Hold on. You definitely going to want to hit these with some water and stain repellent too. The sock liner needs to be hit. Y'all see the sock liner is a different color also. Again, this is dead stock. This ain't been worn. Right? And this is just right out the box. This is dead stock too. Now this one has been worn. And then you see the toe cap on this one, right? And then let me show you. Right, so it has been, they tried to get it similar to the OG pass from what I recall. Y'all got to think that was 40 years ago. So my memory's a little, I'm just comparing it to like some of the more recent releases in the collabs just to kind of show y'all. But this is, let me put this down. It's still dead stock. If it go to a thousand, I'm walking the plane. Oh, remember these? I ain't even. Just to kind of give y'all, for those of y'all that might have one of these fours, to give y'all a toe cap comparison, right, of what people are talking about. There's a difference in the shape. It's not identical to the pine green SB4, but it is different from, say, like the white Oreos, right? That came out in 2021, I want to say, 22. It's different from these Midnight Navy fours. Definitely different from this, right? See the difference? So it's shaped different, which is nice. We got the schematics, the schematics down. Uh, this one, y'all remember, I got the what the fours, right? Y'all see how they gave us the, the, the chain with this one. And I can't remember if they gave us the chain with this one or not. I got to go look. Um, but this is what I want to ask you all, right? Do y'all think Jordan Brand could have been gave us the... Hell yeah, they could have. All right, this is what I'm going to ask y'all, all right? For while we've been waiting for the military blue, the industrial blue four with the Nike on the back, right? Here's the what the four. This is made out of the first original OG fours, the white cement, the fire red, the bread four, and the military blue four. Y'all see, this came out in 2018. Y'all see that heel tab? Y'all see that tongue? Is it not the exact same thing as this? Jordan Brand could have been gave us this shit. They playing with us, right? See what I'm saying? Like, so y'all had the materials to get us to us. Y'all put them on here, on, on the what the for us, right? And then y'all had us wait another four, five, six years before y'all came out with this. Not that we complained about it. We glad we finally got it. But that just show you how they be treating us, right? What they really think about us as consumers. Stay woke, people. But here it is. This is the in-hand view. Comment down below. Did you hit on the shock drop? Now, there are reports that there's going to be close to a, a million pairs. Some numbers are reported to be in over a million, right? I can't confirm that because I haven't got it from a reliable source. I haven't seen it with my own eyes, so I'm going to have to do my research, and I might add in the comments what I've discovered over the next day or two. I want to tell you all that. Think about the releases like the Holiday 11, right? What was the last Holiday 11? The Gratitude 11, there's over a million pairs in them, and it's still... 13,000 people looking for them. It was 2 million pairs of the Concords. No, of the Bread 11s. And it's still about a good 8,000 people looking for them. All right, so do your diligence. If you want the shoe, put in for the local raffles. Put in for the app raffles, the Foot Lockers, the Champs, the Shakes, the DSG, the uh, NBA. I, I put in for everything. I, my, my, yeah, feature everybody, right? Without having to pay resale, the goal this year is the retail dubs, all right? I want you all to hit this shoe, and I want you all to do it as stress-free as possible, all right? What does this shoe rank at in your original four OGs? Like, what, what, what does this fall at? For me, this would be number four. Number four would be the military blue. Number three would be the fire reds, which is that up there. Number two would be the black cement, which is or the breads, which is these right here, right, from 2019. And then number one would be the white cement. Ain't nothing touching the white cement, right? You don't believe me? Go watch uh, Do the Right Thing. All right? My brand new Air Jordans. That was when Martin Lawrence had a lisp. 
Y'all don't even know that. Y'all need to go check that movie out. But yeah, here it is, right? So yeah, you definitely gonna wanna hit the sock liner, right? With the rejuvenated water and stain repellent. I would recommend the, probably the liquid component because this is mostly like a synthetic type leather. This leather don't feel like this. I'm gonna tell y'all right now before y'all get upset, the leather quality on this is not like the leather quality on this. It's not, hell, it ain't even like the leather quality on this. Like, not for real, it ain't. It's not. See that? That's tumble. I need to wear these, I need to sell these. I need to do something with them. Um, uh, What other one at? It ain't even like this one. And a lot of people passed on this shoe. Y'all see, I had to get it because I'm a Cowboys fan. This Now, this the leather on this joint is A1. Right? On this one, not even close. So they upped the price to $215, and then they short us on the material. Now, the toe cap looks like how I remember it from 2000, from, not, I'm sorry, from 1988, 89, right? When they came out. The shape, I can't say unequivocally that it looks identical to what it looked like back then, but I see what they was getting at just based on looking at how, and I'm repeating myself, so forgive me for that, just to look at that, because that's going to, that's, that fascinates me, right? But, oh, wait, hold on, hold on, wait a minute. Oh, no, I see what they didn't do. Yeah. So, yeah, look, look, look here. Let me show y'all this. Look at how it's rounded out in the front. Right? Versus, say, this one. Right? I, I, sh I need to show y'all the right angle. Let me get that for y'all before we get on up out of here. Okay? That's what they did different. All right, so shout out to Jordan Brand for that. Uh, they get marked down for not having a, a hang tag, but that's okay because I got a hang tag around here somewhere. So it's going to be hung tagged. Um, that's all I got to say. We got the Air Jordan 4 from the Shock Drop Pad. I don't need a double up in them. I didn't get a double up in the Fire Reds. I didn't get a double up in the Breads. Actually, with my bread for the original, I didn't even get a double up in these, right? Um, comment down below. Feedback is a gift. Tell a friend to tell a friend. Like comment, subscribe to the channel. We shall walk this mile together. I appreciate each and every one of you all taking time out of your day, your work, running errands, getting your business up off the ground. Shout out to you. Shout out to you for getting the day and day hustle. I appreciate each and every one of you all. Thank you so much for your time, your diligence, your insight, your patience, your expertise, your sharing insight with us and everything else that you all do. We appreciate that over here. Tell a friend to tell a friend. We shall walk the mile together. This is your boy, Just Tim Johnson. Peace. Real rich bitch. Better make it fit. It better make sense. You better make it cool. Hey.